Kyle, just making a quick video of how to get GameCube achievements working on your Steam Deck following the release on Retro Achievements yesterday, the 15th of July. A huge shout out to the team working on this. The time and dedication they put into this is truly remarkable. If you're not familiar with Retro Achievements, I highly recommend to create an account and start gaining achievements for many retro titles, which as of this launch now includes GameCube games. I've already done this setup once, but one of the admins has posted that we need to update to a version that released only a few hours ago. Any use of the older version won't be able to earn achievements. Apologies on the quality as there's no easy way to record the screen. I'm using a mouse and keyboard connected to my Steam Deck, which I highly recommend for this setup. The current Flatpak version of Dolphin installed via EmuDeck doesn't have the feature to log into Retro Achievements. Until the flat pack is released, this has to be done manually. We need to install the latest developer build, which I will link below. If not, just find the Dolphin Downloads page through Google. For this video, we need to download version 2407-68. I'm sure this will be updated again shortly, once a few more bugs are found, but this is the version we're using. Download the version, move and extract the Dolphin folder to where you want it to be located. I'll move mine to the SD card for now. I recommend once extracted to rename the folder, the current version number, instead of leaving it as Dolphin X64, in case you have to do this again, like I have. Once extracted and renamed, open Steam in desktop mode and go into games, add a non-Steam game and locate to the Dolphin EXE we just extracted. Go into settings for Dolphin EXE in Steam, properties, and enable run in compatibility mode. Set this to Proton Experimental. Run Dolphin once just to create all the necessary folders. At this point, you can copy the previous config files over with all your previous settings. If not, I'll show you how to set everything up as the same. And a quick disclaimer, in desktop mode, Dolphin EXE has crashed on me multiple times. Don't worry if this happens to you, just close it and reopen it. If you go into the Tools drop-down menu, you should now see Achievements tab as an option. You can straight away log in here using your Retro Achievements account. And once logged in, it should show your profile picture and then the amount of um, points that you've currently gained. Once that's done, we just need to link the games back. So mine are currently all on my SD card because of EmuDeck. So I'll just link them to the exact same location. The graphic settings, I recommend to just use the same as the Dolphin version installed with EmuDeck. If you don't have this version, then just copy all the settings that I put on screen. Next is the controller settings. Use X input and save the profile. And when setting up the key bindings, it always helps to look at a GameCube controller just so it feels natural. Once that's all done, we can move over to gaming mode. Something I highly recommend is to enable the back pedals on the Steam Deck and have one of them assigned to the escape key on the keyboard. This just means you don't have to keep closing the whole application every single time you want to go out of a game and back into another one. Also, it helps if you need to tweak any of the settings whilst you're in gaming mode, instead of having to go all the way back to desktop mode with a mouse and keyboard. And that's it for now. Hopefully they release a flat pack so we don't have to do this. But until that flat pack's released, hopefully this video helps even just a few people. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And if you are going to be playing any GameCube, maybe comment what game is the first you're going to play.